I just listened to a great interview with Anderson Cooper on the Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend podcast. And among other topics, the CNN anchor discussed why the journalists of today are not revered in the same way as in the era of Walter Cronkite. Now, there are many different reasons for this, and depending on where you get your news, the answers might become political. I promise you that's not where this is going. That's not where Cooper went. He suggested this reverence was primarily the result of having less information available all the time. Viewers of yesteryear didn't know much about Cronkite personally, and more importantly, they often didn't know what was happening in the world until the famous sign-off, and that's the way it is. This raises an interesting notion which we can all apply no matter our content or our audiences. How tuned in are you to frame of reference? You might assume knowing as much as possible about your audience is always better than knowing just the basics, but that's not always the case. For example, having been in some form of client services nearly my entire career, I can tell you this, as much as clients want to be guided, they want to be seen as the experts they are. This is where being an entrepreneur or even entrepreneurial can give you an edge in effective storytelling. On any given occasion, your audience is comprised of clients, prospects, employees, investors, or partners. You become better at gauging what your audience's frame of reference is by understanding, number one, who they are, and number two, what they might be expecting from you, aka how you add value. Start there, and you can zero in on their frame of reference. You can't always anticipate how your content will be received, but you can control how it's delivered.